Hello everybody, Eugene Bear here at the end of Sunday. I went to uh, my uh, non-denominational independent church this morning and the subject of love, they taught love plus nothing. And I was finally asked to say something in our little group at the end of the class. And I said, I can't go with love of God plus nothing. I have to at least go with love plus truth. And I said, you can, you can have phileo brotherly love, hug each other at church or go hug your neighbor. But I believe that there's something better than showing love to your neighbor with a hug or a handshake, and that is speaking truth with your neighbor. So I believe that we need the Spirit Word, the Holy Spirit Word of truth, and the love of God connected. Many things are connected. I'm going to go from Ephesians to 1 Corinthians, the love chapter, chapter 13, to Romans 8, and then we're going to end up in Colossians. Even if we go from A to B to C, even if this takes three teachings in a row, maybe I'll get it in in two. But here's what I'd like to start with. <clears throat> in Ephesians 4, it speaks about the oneness, the unity, the harmony, same mind, same spirit. Tells you everything that is in unity or connected to. All right, one, 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 one. I want to go beyond that. Great revelation in one spirit. Someday if you get God's illumination, revelation of one spirit, it is a great truth. One spirit, holy, spirit word, truth. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, word, truth. Okay, many, many things connected. Love is the center. God is love. But you can go all the way around love with lines to words. That's why something was seen spinning like a circle in the Old Testament prophecies. Uh, there was a center. There was an axis and outer lights spinning around the center. Love. Love truth, truth love, like heart mind, mind art, spirit soul, soul spirit. I have word groupings, words that connect to each other, and I put them in groups. And when we go to 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, the chapter ends with a word grouping. Faith, hope, and love, three words in English, and the greatest of these is love. And the least is is faith into Christ, and then there's your hope. Do you know your hope? Have you learned Christ? Can you teach Christ? Do you know your hope? Can you teach your hope? All right? And where does the mystery come in? A sacred secret hidden from all ages, from Adam and Eve until the Lord Jesus Christ revealed it to Paul in the Arabian desert and sent him to the Gentiles. Nothing in the Old Testament reveals the mystery that is spoken of in Ephesians and Colossians revealed to Paul in the New Testament. Plenty of prophecy, 367 prophecies, revealing the coming Son of God, Messiah Christ, in the Old Testament. Nothing revealing the mystery that the Lord chose Paul after the cross and revealed a mystery to him. So, do you know Christ? Have you learned Christ? Can you teach Christ? Do you know your hope and calling? Can you teach your hope and calling? And do you know the mystery that is to us, the Gentiles, today? Okay. And it is important that you have the agape love of God. And this teacher teaches you cannot have the agape love of God without the truth of God. You can have phileo brotherly love with air 
or half-truths, walk around smiling, saying, how are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful, I'm fine, when you're really not wonderful and fine on the inside. Okay, so that is uh, fooling each other with a smile and a hug and a handshake. Oh, everything's perfect when it's not. All right. Okay, now, Ephesians 4, we find he ascended, he ascended, also ascended above, and he gave gifts. That's where we're starting. And it is taught, slight error here, that it's a five-fold ministry. It's not. It's a four-fold ministry. And every one of these words are teachers. They're all teachers. And what are the four teacher categories? An apostle, a sent one, teaches. The good news, the gospel. Peace and rest, only found in the Holy Spirit of truth and the word of God. Peace and rest. The apostle is a teacher. Prophet teachers, I am one. Prophet teachers teach the prophecies, and the Lord Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. They teach the truth of the word of God. They come with the word and they teach the word if they're a true prophet of God. Next one, evangelist. Evangelize, proclaim the gospel, the good news, with the mystery connected. You can't proclaim, just like you can't have the agape love of God without truth. You can't have the gospel of peace without knowing the mystery. They're connected. You can find them within four words of each other. The mystery, the gospel, at the end of Ephesians. And then the next one is uh, if shepherd. Pastor is not a good word. The Greek word is not pastor. We read pastor in King James or in most of the translation. It's shepherding. It's leading, feeding. A shepherd takes care of the flock by teaching them truth. So all the sheep, and it's hard to kick against the pricks. It's hard to kick against the sheep goads. The shepherd has a long sheep goad, slightly pointed, and he'll poke the sheep on the behind to get him to move. And he moves them to green grass and water. He feeds them. He watches over them. He finds the lost ones and brings them back. And the shepherd also is a teacher, apostle teacher, prophet teacher, evangelist teacher, shepherd teacher. All right? Fourfold ministry, all teachers of the word of truth, the spirit word of truth. Because you need the truth to get to the agape love of God. God is light. God is good. God is word, truth, word, one spirit, holy, spirit, word, holy, truth. And I say this non-scriptural thing, and don't forget the truth. Spirit, truth, and don't forget the truth. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit of word, truth. All right, that's eight minutes. I'm going to be right back with B part, and we may even get to C part before this is all done. Love you. Eugene Bear. Bye. Coming back with part 2B.